What's up, everybody, and welcome on back to another episode of Joel Cupcake Live with me, Joel Cupcake. Sorry, I really don't like that camera angle, so I'm adjusting. There we go. How is everyone doing? You know, um, no guests today. Um, as you can tell, I'm here on my phone by myself. And uh, no, this is not another health update. Um, I don't have one of those yet. I do start acupuncture soon. But um, that is, uh, is not what we have going on here today. Um, this is episode 43, actually. Um, I'm not counting the health updates in my total episode count, so we're already like above 50 technically, I think, but it doesn't matter. Um, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, for those of you that might remember when I started the show, I did the episodes by myself. I tried to keep them like right around the five to 15 minute mark. Um, it has just as much to do with like teaching and imparting knowledge and learning life lessons and hoping that you guys like what I have to say, want to listen to me talk, um, as well as like help with my own sanity, getting some of this out and, you know, just putting my thoughts everywhere and saying what I got to say, you know? Um, so, you know, let's get right to that. You know, today I really want to talk about networking and its importance, you know, uh, especially when you're young, you just, you don't really realize what networking is. Like, you know, even when I was a younger promoter, I was always telling other bands like, yo, tell your homies bands to come play for me or tell your agent I, I did a great job so I could get more work, stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. You don't realize that like just like the, the stamp of approval or like the homie help, like all of that is networking, man. And it doesn't matter if you're in the music industry at all. In, in, in any facet of life, networking is so crucial. Networking is so important. You know what I mean? Um, don't skip on it. Like, you know, whether you think it's important or not, it doesn't matter, you know. Whatever your field of work might be, having a good reputation, knowing people, you never know. That might help you make a, a, an upwards move, a lateral move. It doesn't matter what it helps you do. Um, you know, just, 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 just keep in mind, like, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and network, meet the people. Like, you know, sometimes we don't like being social after a full day of work, or sometimes we don't want to be social in the industry in which we work in. Again, this doesn't even apply to just music industry people. This is in general, you know? Um, I mean, I've gotten two jobs out of the 19 I've had in my adult life. I've gotten, I think, two of them off of my own merit and everything has been because of networking because I knew somebody or somebody brought me in because they thought I was perfect for the job or the position or the project or you know like I got referred and because I knew so and so you know it, you never know like I mean as that's how that's our as I mean I'm not a kid anymore and my parents are still able to help me out through like networking connections from from my dad from when they were in college in the area you know, from where they grew up and things like it, it never, it never ceases to minimize, you know? So, it, you know, now, now on to the music industry folks, like when these random people that you don't know reach out to you, have a conversation with them. You never know who you're going to meet, what you're going to learn. You don't know who they know, who they work with. Uh, I mean, some of the people I've been talking to the most during the pandemic in this downtime have literally been people I barely talked to before. And these people are the ones that followed up with me. Like, that makes me feel awesome. That A, they give a shit, you know. B, they they feel like I'm someone that they want to network with. What's, what's not awesome about that, you know? Like... So, so, you know, when you, when you start networking, people want to network with you back and it makes you feel important and like you're doing something right and like you can give yourself your own little like subtle pat on the back, you know? Um, in the music industry, I mean, the music industry is kind of run on, on who you know and how you know them, you know? Uh, reputation is important. I'm going to do another episode about like reputation and some of that later on. You know, I always thought that was the key reputation. Like I always focus so, 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 so much on, I'm going to let my hard work speak for itself. You know, uh, I've mentioned on other episodes how like I was like a little more like braggadocious and a little bit more so involved in like the imagery of like being the hip promoter. Um, when I was younger that like some of the stuff kind of got away from me, um, you know, and, and, and I don't think I was a, a bad promoter by any means, 
but you know there's definitely some things that could have been differently like for myself and the scene and some of the bands in the area and just the way I, I did business like you know I don't really need to go into detail but like you know like it was it was networking you know like working hard and focusing on all this stuff like and like saying like yeah we'll just let my work speak for itself what did, what did you think you know people are gonna people are gonna tell those other people what they thought about you if they're asked even if you ask them or tell them not to unless there's like an nda or some crazy nonsense sign they're gonna tell the other person that they talk to you know they're gonna give them some feedback again music industry real world whether you're moving, you know, it's like an application for housing, whether, whatever, you know, like, like networking is so crucial to our lives and our progression forwards in both like the, the professional sense and in some cases like the, the personal sense, but just the sense of the world, you know, uh, especially like look at how things are going now. There's so much stuff being, being, everyone's under the microscope, you know, so, so having good networking, being a good person, um, you know, I say things that are out of pocket. I say things that some people don't consider funny. You know, I sometimes make added, I have an attitude or make jokes that people don't appreciate, but like that doesn't deter from my work ethic and from people wanting to work with me because they understand, oh, like Joel might be a little bit of a hothead or, oh, Joel's kind of a smart ass or this or that or the other thing. But because I've networked so well and made so many good connections, and, and I, I, you know, I pay it forwards with other people as well. Like they, oh, so-and-so started doing business with me. They told me you recommended, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, my last day job um, was a pet store and it, it was a chain, but everybody thought we were a local business because of all the networking we did in the local community and all the, all the people that came in, like they didn't get treated like, like the corporate mentality, you know? So that helped quite a bit. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, also on top of that, like before that I worked, um, for Taylor, the singer of Moria, you know, he runs a door and window company and like his whole business, the whole construction realm is all networking, who, you know, who you can get introduced to, what projects you can bid on, how well your work is, you know, how do you solve problems when customers are dissatisfied, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like all of that, like, things that you you and us regular people might define as a customer service, all of that, if you're good at it, it all comes back to networking, you know, and people talking about you. And so, so do a good job, be proud of what you do, be prompt, be a good person, you know, take the time, you know, especially in the music industry, I see a lot of people that are like, I can't be bothered to talk to this person or the amount of times I get a like, oh, hey, Joel, do you know this guy or this girl? Uh, they, they, they won't respond to my emails. Like, I think I just need a proper introduction. That happens to me sometimes too. A blind email somebody, no response, no response, two, three follow-ups in. Then all of a sudden I get, I meet the person at a fest or I meet the person through an email thread or, you know, well now we have things like, uh, you know, what's that, what's that new app clubhouse. Now, now there's tons of different ways to meet people, but that's not the point. Um, you know, you might meet that, that person and then six months later, you're, they're your biggest client, you know, that, which has happened, that's happened to me multiple times, you know, um, especially, you know, not everybody is destined to go put on a suit and tie and wine and dine and, and kill it. You know what I mean? I do better when I'm networking with people organically when I'm at a bar or after a show or whatever, you know, like I, I don't do good in like the hyper professional situations. Like I can hang but I feel I do way better with like my networking and my skill set, you know, just, just trying to be natural about it. You know, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. It's whatever you find the most effective for your person and your business or your career path or whatever you want to apply it to, you know? So don't, don't be afraid to talk to, you know, the other guy, you know, don't be afraid to try to reach out. Don't be afraid to try to make friends. Don't be afraid to listen to another opinion or, hey, you know, you might technically be my competitor. How do you do this? How do you approach the situation? You know, like creative minds working together is never a bad thing. And I promise you the networking is going to go incre like so much incredibly farther than you think it's going to. So that's pretty much it. That's my spiel today. Like I can give more, more examples later. 
Uh, if you want, if you ever have any questions about anything I talk about on the show, you can always uh, DM me on Instagram or come find me on Facebook or Twitter or wherever the hell, you know, I'm everywhere these days. So, um, come check that out, you know, ask me more questions. I'm always try. I'm, I do my best to connect with and answer everybody. Uh, I know sometimes I miss a person or two shit happens. Like, you know, obviously anybody that watches this, you know, I've got Bell's palsy and we're in the middle of a bunch of crazy nonsense with the pandemic and everything. So, uh, but I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm trying, you know, and that's pretty much all you, I can do these days. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you're here, thanks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the show on YouTube. I'm about to break 200 subscribers. I really appreciate that. Um, you can find me everywhere on the internet. Just look up Joel Cupcake. That's, that's your boy. That's me. I'm everywhere. Um, you know, I have another, I have a podcast I started about, about, um, video games I like to play that you might see if I put on my socials. Check that out. Uh, my link tree is in the description of the YouTube. Peep those. Uh, I'm still doing consulting sessions for like small businesses and bands and brands and all that. Feel free to hit me up for that. Um, beyond that, like I'm, I'm creeping up on that 50 episode mark and I promise you my guess for the 50th episode, uh, especially for all the local people that watch this is someone you've all been asking for. And I'm going to have some cool guests before that as well. Um, that I think you'll all like that. I know I'm excited to have on the show. I got one of my best friends coming on. I got one of the dudes in the business I look up to the most. I got, uh, a new client of mine from on the management front is going to be on here, but he's been a, a friend of mine for as long as I can remember before he was my client. So I'm stoked on that. I'm uh, going to try to keep mixing up the guests, you know, not just do people in bands, maybe industry people or people from life, or maybe uh, as, as I like to um, unpolitely call them like the other scene dropouts we all know and love. You know, I mean, how many times you see me at a show and you've been like, hey, how's so-and-so? Well, maybe I might have so-and-so on the show. So come check it out. Um, I've had a few of you ask me when Trina's going to be on the show. I don't think we're going to do that. That doesn't make sense. And I just don't think that would be, I don't know. Not that it wouldn't be a comfortable interview, but that's just, I don't know. You know, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe we'll do like a, like a ripoff of, of Cribs with her and I for our apartment. That's about the best you'll get, I would say, unfortunately. Um, but it's all good. Love her to death. I know most of you do as well, too. So anyways, I've been rambling way too long. You probably all stopped watching about like four minutes ago before I started doing all my spiels. So I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Episode 43 of Joel Cupcake Live. I will see you all later.